Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently tested Gemini 3.0. No, I didn't get any early access. I painstakingly went through a random process of A-B tests on Google's AI Studio, where you can encounter an A-B test where sometimes you get the alleged Gemini 3.0 Pro or Gemini 3.0 Flash model. You can also check the checkpoint that you're being served in the network logs and check that when it gives you a checkpoint starting with 2HT. It's supposed to be the latest checkpoint of Gemini 3.0 Pro or it might also be Ultra. Whatever this model is, it seems like a generational leap and I can say that for sure. It's just really great at code generation, mathematics, and stuff based on the limited testing that I have done. In relation to Gemini 2.5 Pro, it almost seems to be a five times improvement in regular usage and coding, while in relation to Sonnet 4.5, Opus, and GPT-5, it's almost a 50% improvement, which is pretty awesome. Obviously, it all depends on how good it is at tool calling, because that makes or breaks a model based on actual usage with things like Roo, Klein, Kilo, and stuff. They have confirmed that they are training it heavily on tool calling. So, I just hope that it also works out for them, because the raw performance of these models seems insanely good. Some people are saying, based on the performance of this model, that it might be Gemini 3.0 Ultra. I think that it might be, or it might not be. Ultra models used to be exclusive to the Gemini app. So, the model currently being tested is probably going to be Gemini 3 Pro, and then Ultra might follow, but I don't think that it will be the Ultra model. I'm hoping that it's cheaper than Sonnet. But even if it is at the price of Sonnet, I can understand that based on the performance. Like, I don't think that Sonnet 4.5's price is justified when there are models like GPT-5 Codex and even cheaper GLM 4.6. But they keep charging very high for a model that is not even, like, 10% better than previous models. Sonnet 4.5 is an even bigger disappointment than GPT-5 for me, because it almost feels like they nerfed Sonnet 4 first and then launched Sonnet 4.5 with very minor improvements and just benchmarking on benchmarks. Gemini's early tests by people, and the tests that I did, seem to point that it will be a real generational improvement over what we have seen with things like Sonnet 4.5 and GPT-5, where they aren't really a big improvement. So, I think that Gemini can really capture the users from Sonnet based on the very limited testing that I have done. They just need to nail the tool calling, and it would be awesome. Especially when you consider that they have been building their tools non-stop around their models, like Jules, Gemini, CLI, and stuff like that, and they have gotten really awesome in the past few days. So, yeah, I think that if the model is good, then it can be a real banger for sure, because the tooling around it is already built, and they just need to make sure that the model is of high quality, and they can fine-tune the models on their tools as well. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. Sonnet 4.5 actually works better with Claude Code than other tools because of how much this new version is fine-tuned for it. Similarly, GLM 4.6 works way better with Claude Code. 
because they have also trained the model on Claude Code tool calling patterns, which is not a bad thing, as it makes the model much more cohesive in an ecosystem of tools. Because that's what every company wants. They want to lock you into an ecosystem that gives you a bit better performance and makes it harder to switch. OpenAI is also trying to do it, and Claude is already great at it. Chinese models like GLM do something else where they just make their models compatible with their tools, allowing them to just focus on the model. But we are dependent on the tool makers to allow for different providers. That's why, in their new GLM 4.6 version, they also trained it for things like Kilo and Roo and Klein, allowing it to be much better in different tools and not being locked down. Google will surely try to train the model on the tool calling behaviors of Gemini, CLI, or Jules, as that way it can perform pretty well. I think there's also nothing stopping Google from training a coding-focused model as well, especially utilizing something like their diffusion tech that they showed off specifically for coding. I think that we might see something like that soon. Some people were saying that Cheetah in Cursor is that diffusion model, but I'm pretty skeptical about that because it says that it's clawed and it's more of a grok code behavior. Anyway, it is being said that Gemini 3 may come on October 9th, as there's a Google event on that day. But rumors are now that it might be postponed to the 20th. I think that it might be that we may see Gemini 3 flash on October 9th, and then 3 Pro on the 20th, because previously they had launched Gemini 2 flash first, and then Pro like a month or two after. So, it makes sense. But it might also be that we see both of them together on the 9th or the 20th. So, I'm not sure about it. I think that it will take some time and come by the 20th. But I'd be happy to be wrong. So, we'll see about that. It seems the model is ready and good to go, and we'll see what happens. It might take some more time. So, let's see when that happens. They have the option to delay launches because there is no major launch ahead of them anymore. Claude is already launched. GPT-5 is already launched. So, there doesn't seem to be anything that might ruin their launch. Let's see what happens. That's mostly about it. I wanted to talk about this as we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.